Morning, everybody. I stayed up until like one, so I let myself sleep in a little bit, but welcome back to Vlogmas. Today is going to be just a like getting it together day, similar to other days. I think I'm gonna leave, um, run some errands in a little bit though. So I'm going to do all my computer work and stuff like that now, get Vlogmas up from yesterday. Welcome back if you guys are new. This is Vlogmas in New York. I'm making my coffee now, so we will get energized and get on with the day. This video is brought to you guys by Book of the Month. I love Book of the Month. I'm so excited to be working with them. We worked with them on the podcast. So excited to be working with them here on YouTube. Book of the Month is a super popular and fast growing book subscription box. Their mission is to help new and emerging authors help book readers find books that they love. So basically the Book of the Month team is going to go through and do all of the pre-work for you. They vet through like hundreds and hundreds of titles. And then they give the readers, so you and me, a choice from like a curated selection of new and early release titles. Some of the books you can even get them, like I said, early release before other people can find them in bookstores, which I think is so cool. Reading, it's great when you have a book that you know you're gonna enjoy and stuff, but the hardest part is finding that book and going through the process of like trying to go through other people's recommendations, but Book of the Month does all that work for you. Book of the Month is risk-free, so you can skip any time and you won't be charged. Plus they have the best price for new release hardcover fiction. Books can be expensive, let me tell you. And I know you can get your first book for just five dollars which is amazing you can use the code bookwish i will also leave all of that down below so i'm going to talk about the book that i chose for this month i've already cracked into it just a little bit this month i picked people like her it's by ellery lloyd i'll read a little bit about it it says to her adoring fans emmy jackson aka the mama bear is an honest insta mom who always tells it like it is to her skeptical husband a washed up novelist who knows the truth about how creative emmy can be with the truth she's a breadwinning powerhouse brilliant at monetizing the intimate details of her family life. To one of Emmy's dangerously obsessive followers, she's the woman who has everything but deserves none of it. In this deeply addictive tale of psychological suspense, Ellery Lloyd delves into the dark side of influencer culture, technology, and the way we live today. So I just thought it was applicable. And it's like murder mystery meets influencer kind of scary. My favorite thing is that I probably never would have picked up a book like this just because I try to go on like other people's recommendations. I've never heard of this one before, but I am obsessed so far. And like, it's totally me. But I feel like it gets me out of like my like little little comfort zone when it comes to books of just like going off of other people's recs but instead book of the month like does like I said all that pre-work for you and they're introducing you to new books new authors authors that come from like diverse backgrounds everything it's super easy with how it works you sign up you get to pick from the five book your first month like I said is just five dollars what the heck and then after that, it's $14.99 a month. The other December books they have, I'm reading here, they have The Wife Upstairs, which is a thriller. This one, which is also a thriller. Contemporary fiction is This Close to Okay. Romance is In a Holidays. And short stories, they have The Office of Historical Corrections. Book of the Month is also helping me get back into reading. I did it over the summer too. Fell in love. So excited to be working with them again. So check out Book of the Month down below. Like I said, use that code BOOKWISH to get your first book for just $5. Cheers. Last night, I blue dry my hair with the Dyson Airwrap. I didn't show you guys because it's just like getting ready and stuff, but I used the blow dry like brush attachment. This is the new way that I'm doing it for now on because I just think it looks good. Um, obviously it bent overnight. So I'm gonna go in and straighten a few pieces, but I think that the way that I just did that, I used my Kerastase serum and then I just like went through and just like did the brush thing. I think it created like a nice amount of volume. My hair is like not super flat to my face, but it was easy too. And now I'm just going in with my straightener and I'm gonna go touch up a few pieces. I'm gonna clip the top section just out of the way. I was listening to Skinny Confidential this morning, also watching, they're only 20 minute episodes and they come out every Tuesday. So I was just doing that while I was doing um, getting like the vlogmas ready to upload for today. A teacher on Hulu, if you guys haven't watched it, it's really good. It is like a mini series. So it's only, I think it's only gonna be like eight episodes and they're only around 20 minutes. It's definitely like really heavy and like definitely like trigger warnings and stuff for all of that stuff. Um, but they have those in the actual show. If you're curious what it's about, you can look it up. Um, it's a, I think it's a good show though. I'm watching a lot of TV right now actually. Tonight's Bachelor, <laughs> got a live tweet. Oh boy, what's going on? Does the sound of anybody's phone dinging ever stress you out? Like sometimes, and I know I put that in like, I put it as like a sound effect and I didn't even realize that it would like trigger you guys, but honestly I get it because sometimes it triggers me to like the sound of a text coming through, especially when you're just like not in the mood to text and you hear like the dinging and it's like, oh my God, I just like don't want to deal with this right now. And I can kind of feel like stressful and stuff. I remember when I used to work, like when I was in my office and I would hear sounds of like emails coming in or IMs and I was like really stressed or whatever. 
it was like the worst i was just like oh my god i hate that i don't want to hear it right now but i feel like we all have to get past it and sometimes i just mute everything my phone's muted but the computer's not so it just went on there anyways i'm gonna quickly um just go in and straighten some of these pieces just you can see like some of them bent overnight just for me sleeping on it i slept like a literal angel that was really nice my phone's dinging didn't know it's texting me it's okay it's not the people texting me that's the problem it's the actual sound slash concept that i have to get back to everybody but you know that's reality i know some people do a thing where they do like no phones after a certain hour or like no texting after a certain hour like that sounds really good but i don't know if i could realistically implement that for myself i think i could do no work after a certain hour like no emails and stuff but no texts like a lot of my personal life is through like text or snapchat you know like keeping up with my friends that don't live near me or even my friends that do live near me that i don't see all the time family too and when you live alone it's like you can't do that whole like i'm not going to use my phone for these hours because it's like i live alone like god forbid i don't know like I, I can't do the whole like my phone's off because that would people contact me if they needed to like I don't know. Anyways, I want to listen to Tori's podcast today too, but I'm going to go out and like go for a walk and run errands. So that's my perfect time to like listen to podcasts um, is when I'm out and about because I feel like I'm like going on a walk with someone. I've been way more into podcasts than I have been into music in the past recent like few months. I actually have been so behind on new music. That's why my Spotify wrapped is kind of like trash this year because it, I just haven't been listening to enough music. So yeah. All right. All right, got the vlog up, really good. Um, just put on an outfit and I am going to run some errands. I have to get some cash for my doorman gifts for Christmas. I'll show you guys my outfit though. Honestly, I'm wearing these leggings mostly because I want to break them in, but these are the new Spanx like patent ones I got. They are kind of squeaky. I thought they wouldn't be as squeaky, but um, yeah, the Dolce Vita, Dolce Vita boots because they're comfy and this black red sea sweater, my black um, like winter coat. I think I'm gonna put on a beanie too. I have my beanies just like, I redid my closet kind of. Um, and I put like sweatpants here. These need to be like more properly folded, but I put all my beanies here. Um, and I've been, oh my God, look at all the makeup on that. But I think I will use this one. Oh my gosh, is that so bad? Probably needs to be washed. Let's wash that, use a different one. Cream one, that's fun. Reorganized my closet the other day, like before I started Vlogmas. I think it looks pretty good. I cleaned out a bunch of stuff. Um, donated a bunch of stuff and then I have everything like kind of I pulled the sweaters more to towards the front I still have like some dresses and stuff out that probably could go into storage because like I'm not wearing like These little dresses anymore for a few months at least but um, I tried to do like some color coordinated I have like my skirts here sweaters and then sweatshirts and like bulkier stuff in the back it is a really nice size closet, honestly, and I could fit my dresser in here too, which is nice. And then back there in that corner, it's just like random bags and whatnot, stuff that I, um, when I pack to go home, I'll bring. I'll show you guys a little bit actually more in depth of the closet because I, um, I never really show this. I feel like I've shown this before. I got this in Boston. It's technically for nail polish. We hung it up with some command strips. Super easy, so it's not like damaging this. Um, but this is a sunglasses, Kate. Well, it's, you could use it as a nail polish rack, like anything really rack but it's perfect for sunglasses, I think. I really only wear like the same like two pairs that aren't even on here, but it's nice to have. I might start selling some of my sunglasses soon actually because I like feel like I don't wear them enough and I just have like random clips and accessories in there too, some jewelry, whatever. Up here then I put some more command hooks for hats. I really rarely wear baseball caps sort of hats. Like I wear beanies and stuff, but not really caps, but I still like these. And in the off chance that I do want to wear. Up there at the top, sweatpants, like I said, beanies. In that, this bin here, I just put jean shorts and then like I have like my little tiny like crop tops, like shirts that really aren't hung up. Like they're more like tube tops, stuff like that. I really wish I had two of those because I don't really love that storage container, but I really like this one. They're both from Target, by the way. That is all sports bras and just like cups for the sports bras that like I can insert in if I want to, take them out, whatever. There I have all of my purses, um, my belts, and then these are just empty boxes. Like this is from when I got my Chanel purse, that's from my Prada bag. I, I try to keep the boxes. I mean, I probably should bring them back to Long Island just because they take up so much space in here, but I think it's good to keep the boxes. I don't really know why, but I feel like everyone says you're supposed to. And then I keep my purses out. I personally like keeping them out instead of putting them away and like s stuffing them back in the boxes because then I forget that they exist and the whole purpose is to match them with my outfits and stuff. Um, and that's my collection. Not really a ton, but I'm so proud of it. We're building, okay? Moving down here, this is all the clothes. Over here on the side, we have belts that like not non-designer belts like I have my designer ones folded up there or like you know kept in a nicer spot these ones are just hung on here I never really wear these anymore but I used to in college a lot go to just like 
Well, in high school, I would wear brown belts a lot. I never really do that anymore. But then black belts, like I have these fun ones from Princess Polly that have like studying. This one's from Revolve, I remember. Um, here I have scarves that I tie into shirts or you could wear them as like hair scarves. Here, this is like a chain belt situation that I've never used. I probably showed that's from Princess Polly. And then we start going into clothes. I have longer stuff and then all of my leather leggings, jeans. I tried to do them in order of washes, pants. And then we just have rompers, shorter dresses. This is like where it starts to kind of like lose order. And I, like I said, I need to put some of this stuff away because like I'm not wearing this dress anytime soon. Then we go into regular clothes. So I have like white shirts here. Sorry, I still have myself tan hands. I know it's really annoying. I'm really messed up my tan this time. Only on my hands though. Okay, we have black tops. These are like my go-tos. I really only wear black in the winter it seems like or like neutrals like a gray or something. Um, so we have all those. I try to like take out my empty hangers as I go but like I'm literally wearing the black sweater that's like on this rack right now so it's fine. This is technically out of order. They always like yeah and then there's like hangers. These are the best hangers though by the way. Um, this changed the game for me when it came to like closet organization is getting these like little felt hangers. You can get them anywhere. I know they sell them at Target, on Amazon. I could try to link some down below. So much better than like the plastic ones. They create so much more room in your closet. My mom got me on these before I went to college and they are a game changer. If you need more, you could just pick up more. I don't think they're too pricey and I feel like it just makes it look like uniform having, I mean, they're not even all the same color. This one's a little off, but you get it because you can purchase them from different brands and whatnot. So then I have skirts hanging things like skorts. I have two leather skirts. That's interesting. And then we go into sweaters and like pullovers. Like I put my Everlane Henley in there because it's like a nicer like cashmere, bougie gal. More sweaters. And then we go into the end here, which is all sweatshirts. And I do like to hang up my sweatshirts. I find that I wear my sweatshirts more when I hang them up. Um, I do cycle through some. I keep some under my bed. So this isn't all of them, but like the ones that I've been wearing a lot this season, I'll keep hung up. And then towards the back here, I just have this flannel that I thrifted forever ago that I've been trying to like, I really want to wear more. This business blazer that I really should just bring home. And then this just fab blazer. The annoying part of having my dresser in here, there's really, there's literally no other space for it in the entire apartment. So I would have to keep it here and it's fine because this closet's pretty deep. So it fits well. It sucks that I can't use the top of it. And when I want to reach in it, I do have to move everything to the side. But if that, that's the nothing compared to like what it could be. I'm so grateful for this closet situation because I know a lot of closets in New York aren't even half this size. But yeah, once you clear it out of the way, then you could like access all of the drawers. I don't think I'm going to go into the drawers because that's where it gets kind of messy but that's like underwear, Spanx, bras, daily like undergarments. This one's actually not too, too badly disorganized. I kind of like just went through these because I cleaned out my closet recently. Workout tops, pants. This is probably like the most used section because I like will go to these all the time. I keep some sweatpants like I showed you guys at the top, but other like joggers, other sweatpants, there's really no rhyme or reason why I keep some at the top and why I don't keep whatever. Skorts for like my little, I have one skirt. I don't know why I just said skorts. Shorts, like workout shorts. Yeah. This is from my Ikea, by the way, I've had it since college. I actually worked with Ikea. That was cool um, when I was in college. And I'm, I still have a bunch of furniture from that. Like this side table is Ikea. I got like all of my furniture from them back then. Just kept it all. And it's just like white and nice and sleek. And I actually do like how that's like opaque, even though I keep my underwear in there. So it looks a little weird, but. And then here in the bottom drawer, this is just real. You know, it's not perfectly folded and organized, but it's really, it could be worse. Just leggings. There's really no rhyme or reason to the piles and whatnot. I tried to make my middle one like my most worn ones, but everything just kind of gets flipped around on me. So yeah, that's like mostly leggings and like, yeah. Just push everything back into place like this. You wanna say hi to the vlog? <laughs> no. All right, I have my mom on FaceTime on mute. She really doesn't want to be seen. So unfortunately I can't show you guys her. Um, but then over here, I wanted to just quickly show this because I get a lot of questions on this little section. It's a popular um, question. And this is from Amazon, this hanging jewelry organizer. I can link it on there. But if you go to amazon.com slash shop slash Brooke it's in one of the pictures and it's like a shoppable clickable link thing. It was around like 30 or $40. You do have to like slightly assemble it yourself but it's super easy and it has like little shelves too so i have just like my crystals and like random stuff on here um it's not like a ton of earring but yeah and then necklaces i am oh my gosh i'm squeaking Ugh. i think i could like rub an oil or something between i feel like i've seen that hack before 
on social media, but I'm not gonna try right now. So I am going to get cash for my doorman gifts. Maybe I'll get lunch while I'm out and just like take a little stroll. I'm going to not put on any makeup and I'm going to use my mask. It's from Slip that Neutrogena sent me. I've been really liking this and I'm not, this is like my no makeup mask. If I'm wearing makeup, then I wear another mask, usually like one of those black disposable ones, but this one, it's really like supposed to be like better on your skin and stuff. And so I just wanna keep it clean and like make sure that I'm wearing it when I'm not wearing makeup. Anyways, let's go for a walk. My AirPods are dead. So that's significantly cut my walk shorter than I thought it would be because it makes me not want to walk as much. But we got the cash, so I might just go back home. What are the odds that literally one of the like two times that I'm like, all right, I'm gonna go and like listen to a podcast. My AirPods are dead. I went to the deli though and got like a sandwich for me, thing for lunch, and then I got, I mean, I did what I needed to do. I just thought that it would be a nice day to stroll around. I guess I could have come home and charged them and gone out later, but you guys know me. That's <laughs> probably not in the cards now that I'm home. It is what it is. It will feel good to like get all my gifts together and stuff. I've pretty much finished all my gift shopping for my parents, my brother, friends that I'm doing gifts with I don't know about you guys like I don't do gifts with everybody like I feel like with a lot of people especially this age of like a little bit post-college like some people you just stop exchanging gifts with like in college I would give you know like small things to my best friends or whatever and get them like candy and stuff like that but I feel like after college like I kind of stopped doing gifts with a lot of people. Is that normal? Do you guys do, like if you're in my same age range, let me know. The unloading of all the layers when you get home and the washing hands, you know it. Honestly, the local deli like hits diff in New York. The delis are so good. So this is a panini with chicken, like peppers, onions, chipotle mayo, some kind of cheese. The bread looks amazing, toasted to perfection. I love those lines, <laughs> love it. Watching Molly now. Um, it is a little later and I just went downstairs and got a package. This is, this is from Fashion Pass, which is the subscription that I do now. I went ahead and canceled Rent the Runway for the time being, um, and now I do Fashion Pass. So this is a clothing rental service. So you guys obviously saw my closet before. I still do have a lot of clothes, but I'm trying to kind of reformat my closet, do it more basic style. So like I have, you know, some good jeans, some good sweaters, some leather leggings, good boots and whatever. And then I want to use the rental services to get more fun, funky pieces. And I think that's kind of like a good strategy if you think about it. So I've been doing Fashion Pass for a while now. The customer service is incredible. This package was delayed. I didn't even know that it was delayed, but then they sent an email and were like, sorry, your package is delayed and let me do my next order like early. Their customer service is just amazing. Um, I know they're like run by like a team of all women, which is amazing. I'm not working with them by any means, but like I emailed with them a few times and whatever because they saw that I was promoting them organically. Anyone could share a referral code essentially, but they redid mine because I asked, it was like Brooke, something else but now the code is just brooke if you want to get 30 dollars off your fashion pass honestly even just doing it like if you have you know something coming up that you're like i would love to get you know some fun pieces but you don't want to buy them it's also like better for the environment i know because after they're worn they're sent back they're cleaned and then they send them off to somebody else so it's like nice to keep clothes in the cycle and these are really like nice pieces so i'll do a little haul first off i thought this would be so pretty for filming and most of the stuff i get you guys is brand new like what? Line and Dot. Never heard of this brand, but I just thought this pink was beautiful for filming. Um, I, oh, and it will go like, it'll be a double pink if I film in my room. It's just a nice like pink sweater, really warm. Honestly, I like pink with black. So like with a leather legging and boots, I feel like a pink is like a fun pop. Love that. I'm excited for like Valentine's Day season because I love pink. So like I love when the aisles are filled with all that stuff because it's like all pink and girly and fun. Probably will be single for another Valentine's Day, but what are you going to do about it? Anyways, we're thinking really ahead now. Okay, this is cute. I thought for pictures, this would be really cute. It's from Show Me Your Moo Moo. Um, I think I got a medium in both of these. Yeah, I just go on the sizing chart. This is a sweater dress. Um, I thought this with some thigh high boots, but it's like a really, really long one actually. So maybe not, maybe just like a combat boot. We'll wait for the siren to pass. This is like one of those really long ones like to the ankle. I would try this on right now, but I'm just really not feeling myself. I feel like I have to be really in a try on clothing mood, like mentally to try on clothes and just not right now. This goes really long. I like the cream color and it's so nice. Show me your moon is great quality. And it's expensive. Like I would never normally buy that because that's probably like $200 and that is insane. I mean like love the brand, but you know, like <laughs> then we have another sweater brand new with tags, free people. Amazing, love to see it. I loved the pattern on this, like this um, 
sort of pattern just gives me like all of the Christmas winter vibes and it's black which I like because you know I've been wearing all black um so this with like my boots and everything I thought would be nice I think I got a large in this yeah I did onyx combo is what this one's called I could try to link these pieces down below individually if you're interested in them nice warm cozy sweater yeah so I got like three sweaters and then the plan that I do is three pieces of clothing into accessories there's a bunch of different plans you could do less but I think it's cool with the accessories because it's funky stuff, I will say. So these are two pairs of sunglasses actually from Lace Specs. Of course, they're both brand new. Everything I swear, it's, well, you could also sort by new, so then you know that you're getting like the newest of the new stuff, but they have a lot of, the website has a lot of stuff on it. First, I got these ones. Hmm, I kind of like them, that's fun. And they come with a case. I feel like everyone forgets about sunglasses as soon as it hits winter, but it's like the sun still exists. Like we could still use sunglasses, especially when I'm home and driving, I'm gonna need them. These ones are so fetch. Oh my gosh, <gasps> me, I'm like a celebrity. <laughs> I don't hate them though. Like I feel like they're kind of crazy, but they're kind of fun. So that's everything from Fashion Pass. It literally is like Christmas every time and how it works. I think I've explained this before, but then inside the bag is another bag that's pre-labeled and you, the way that it works is you send back the stuff that you don't want to buy and everything that you want to keep, you could buy at a reduced price. Usually I just send everything back. Um, th I think there was like one occasion that I bought, I bought like a beanie and I bought like another accessory. But I think the fun of it is that you get new clothes all the time. But you could opt to buy it, obviously, if you want to. Like, if you find like a great dress that you're like, I need this, like, keep it. That's great. So I'll leave that link down below. Not sponsored. That's not the sponsor of today's video. So just cool. And I thought I would share. I'm still watching Molly, like, just in the background. I'm gonna crack open a huzzah. I really like these right now. And we're gonna clean my kitchen. I just spilled that all over the floor. Love myself. I just got a package from Stride, which is my friend Tori DeSimone. You guys probably know of her. We've talked about her on our podcast. Um, she has her own podcast, Manifest, which I think I might have talked about today, actually. What are the odds? Um, but she has a spin studio, and she sent me over something, and I don't know what it is, so we're going to open it together. It's this Brooke. I wanted you to have the first ever Stride holiday gift box. I hope you love it. Extra Tori. I am so excited. I've spun at Shride before too. It's in Westchester, Pennsylvania. Um, so if you guys are ever in that area, it's just outside of Philly. And it is amazing. Tori is the best instructor. <laughs> and it's her spin studio, which is just so crazy and impressive. Oh my gosh, this box is so legit. I'm so excited. So on brand. Oh my God, I am so excited. I think I saw on Instagram like what everything is. So we have first up, oh my gosh, the sleekest water bottle. Obsessed. Stickers. There's a pop socket. I think you guys can purchase all of this too um, on her site. Oh my god, a gift card? Look at that, $10. And then there's some clothes in here too. So you can buy this um, set online, like I said. I'll try to throw the link down below. Oh my god, so pretty. It's like this purple color, sports bra. You guys know I love a good set, especially to spin in. Super comfy. Oh my gosh, and then same like matching purple leggings. Can I say that they are? They look so comfy. There's more. It was also neatly packed in here. I should have taken a picture. This is a tank top. Ooh, I, I really do like wearing tank tops when I work out because I like having my arms free. It just says stride and it's like lightweight, cute. And then at the bottom here is a drawstring little backpack. How cute. Thank you so much, Tori. Go support. And while I'm at it, this is all from Serafina Jewelry. Um, they sent over to mom and daughter small business. So go support them. They give me a code brook 10 If you guys want to get money off I have gotten some jewelry from them before super cute stuff. This is adorable this little bracelet It's like stretchy and they said that it goes with my stack already and it totally does So I'm gonna add it and these really cute earrings love supporting small businesses, especially this holiday season So check them out gonna wrap up the vlog here because i'm just gonna watch bachelor live tweet so go follow me it's fun to also just watch but and then i'm gonna shower and go to bed but i hope you guys enjoyed be sure to check out book of the month sponsor of this video i'm reading the book um and it is very good it's a good way to unwind too at night after a lot of like tv and screens and whatnot so looking forward to that later love you guys so so much and uh stay tuned for tomorrow another exciting vlog bye